Let's go and explore the history of Blaenarfan Ironworks in South Wales. In the heart of South Wales, nestled in the town of Blaenarfan, stands a monument to the Industrial Revolution. The Blaenarfan Ironworks, once a driving force of industry and innovation, it played a pivotal role in shaping the global iron industry and the world we live in today. But how did this historic site come to be? Let's dive into the history of Blaenarfon Ironworks. To understand the origins of Blaenarfon Ironworks, we first need to go back to the late 18th century. This was a time of rapid industrial expansion in Britain. Driven by the demands of iron and coal. In 1788, three ambitious entrepreneurs, Thomas Hill, Thomas Hopkins, and Benjamin Pratt, recognised the vast potential of the mineral rich South Wales valleys. They chose Blaenarvan as the site for their new ironworks due to its proximity to essential resources like coal, limestone and iron ore. In 1789, the Blaenarfon Ironworks was founded. It wasn't just any ironworks. It was designed to be one of the largest of its time. Equipped with massive blast furnaces, casting houses and forges. The site could produce unprecedented amounts of iron, which was in high demand for everything from tools to machinery and weapons. At its peak, the ironworks employed hundreds of workers, many of whom came from surrounding villages. The workers operated furnaces day and night, producing tons of iron that fueled the rapid growth of industries across the globe. The Blaenarfon ironworks quickly became a symbol of industrial power and innovation. Blaenarfon wasn't just significant for its output. The ironworks played a critical role in advancing technology during the Industrial Revolution. In the early 19th century, the site became one of the first to adopt 
the Bolton and Watt steam engine, a revolutionary technology that increased the efficiency of iron production. This steam-powered innovation allowed Blinarvan to ramp up its operations and set a new standard for the global iron industry.
Let's go and have a wander around the iron workers' cottages. So this is an iron worker's cottage from 1790. This is how you'd live back in the day. This is a cottage from the 1840s. See no mattresses on the floor here. Yeah? Let's explore some other rooms.
I'm going to go one day in the Blaine Alvan Iron Workshop.
Let's have a wander around the cottages. It was the filming location for the series Coal House in 2007 and 2008. The TV series Coal House was a unique social experiment broadcast in 2007 and 2008. It took modern day families and transported them back to the harsh realities of life in 1927, during the coal mining era. To make this experience as authentic as possible, Blynavon Ironworks, steeped in its own industrial heritage, became the perfect filming location. Let's go and take a look at a cottage from 1927. This would have been the front room. And there's the old tin bath. And let's move along to 1944. Well, things are getting a lot better, I think.
Let's move along to 1955 then. And here's the last one, a cottage from 1967.
the series wasn't just filmed here, it was brought to life here. Blynarvan's original workers' cottages were transformed into the homes of the families who live just as the miners of that time did. Cooking on coal-fired ranges, using 1920s tools and enduring the daily grind of a miner's life. It's not just a museum or a set, but a place where real workers lived, toiled and built the foundations of modern industry. Here's a quick look at the back lane of these cottages as well. Yeah. The iron produced at Blynarvan was exported across the world, influencing the construction of railways, bridges and ships. The works iron even played a role in building Britain's vast railway network and in constructing iconic structures like Brunel's bridges. Behind every blast furnace, there were people, men, women, and even children, worked long hours in difficult and often dangerous conditions. Workers lived in the shadow of the ironworks, in company-built houses and villages. Blynarvan Ironworks wasn't just an industrial complex. It was the heart of a thriving, if harsh, community.
The workers endured gruelling shifts with temperatures soaring in the furnaces and machinery posing constant threats. Yet despite these challenges, communities flourished, chapels, schools and local markets grew around the ironworks, creating a unique industrial culture in the heart of South Wales. However, the success of Blynavan Ironworks wouldn't last forever, but the late 19th century competition from newer, more efficient steel production methods led to the gradual decline of the site. And by the early 20th century, the furnaces had gone cold and Blynavan Ironworks closed its doors in 1900. The site fell into ruin, a shadow of its former self. Twelve hour shifts, six days a week, shoveling, pushing, tipping. All for low wages, but better than living off the land. We get paid, <coughs> but we also get bad lungs from the furnace fumes. And that's not all. When you change from night shift to day shift, you end up working 24 hours non-stop. We're here to feed the furnaces, and they're always hungry. First to go in is coke. That's what builds up the heat to melt the iron. My mates make it from coal in great ovens near here. Then we tip in the lumps of iron ore and then the chunks of limestone. That helps turn out purer iron. It's dangerous and exhausting from here. I've worn out more dandies, that's our two-wheeled barrows, than I've had days off. So I'm worn out too. I started when I was nine years old and my muscles prove it. But I've still got years of shoveling, pushing, and tipping on and on <coughs> and on. There's hundreds of men working here, and plenty of women labouring too, but not many children now. They can only work a half shift till they're 13. These kids don't know they're born. My two lads have just started helping me up here. I'd have to pay a boy to do it if I didn't have them, and I can't afford that on my wages. The legacy of Blynavan Ironworks was far from forgotten. In the 20th century, efforts to preserve the significant piece of industrial history began. And in 2000, the Blynavan industrial landscape, which includes the ironworks, was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today the ironworks stand as a testament to the ingenuity and labour of those who worked here during the Industrial Revolution. The innovations and developments pioneered at Blynavan Ironworks didn't just shape Wales, they changed the world the iron and steel industries that followed drew on the technologies perfected here. Even now the lessons of efficiency, resource management and community building resonate in industrial practices worldwide.
lime kilns. Today, Blynarvan Ironworks is more than just a collection of ruins. It is a monument to a defining era in human history. The site reminds us of the power of human ingenuity, the cost of industrial progress, and the lives of the people who made it all possible. If you ever find yourself in South Wales, Visiting Blynavan Ironworks is like stepping back in time to a place where fire and iron forged a new world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the history of Blynavan Ironworks, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more historical explorations. And leave a comment if you'd like us to cover other industrial heritage sites. this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and we'll see you all on the next one.